Hey, what's up, this is Tech Brothers. Today I want to talk about smartphone called Numio 30 Mini, as this is my first video with unboxing and first impressions. Later I will make detailed test of the smartphone. And Numio is well-known Chinese manufacturer of rugged phones. As you may have guessed by the name, Numio S10, S20, S30 were previously released. The new smartphone Numio S30 Mini looks like its older brother, but has a more compact size and some other changes. The price of Numio S30 Mini is about $140. Thus, for this money, you get a compact rugged phone with stock Android system and good performance. As usual, in the description you will find link where to buy a smartphone cheaper. Let's start by unboxing. The Numio S30 Mini come in large box of solid cardboard. As usual, we can see company logo on the front panel. Inside the box is the phone itself. I must say, it's really compact compared to other rugged phones, for example, Ulefon Armor 2 or Blackview B8000 Pro. Also inside the box you will find user manual, micro USB cable, and power adapter with fast charge support. A Numio City Mini has a solid frame and sharp corners, which make it really brutal. I think it's not the best phone for girls. It has thickness of 1.25 cm. Yes, it's really thick, because most modern smartphones are almost twice as thin. Also, this is not bezel-less phone, because there are enough thick bezels around the display. In general, the smartphone comes with 4.7-inch display, but it can be compared to 5-inch devices. On the front panel we see a display, and above it there is token speaker, notification indicator, light and proximity sensors, and front camera. Below the display you can find microphone in a lower right corner and Numi logo. It would be great if instead of Numi logo there was a home button with fingerprint reader, but the smartphone only has on-screen navigation buttons. The back panel has a main camera and LED flashlight. Next to the camera is a hull, it's microphone for noise reduction. Carbon cover is removed, and here you will find a slot for two SIM cards and microSD memory card. However, the battery is not removable. The power buttons are located on the left side. The volume rocker are located on the right side. 3.5mm headphone jack and microUSB are located on the top. Please note, they are not closed by stops, it's very convenient, but before you charge the phone or listen to music, make sure that connectors are dry. At the bottom is multimedia speaker. Numia S30 Mini has IP68 rating. It means this phone is protected from dust and water. You can immerse the phone under the water to a depth of not more than 1 meters and not longer than half an hour. I think that the main feature of Numia S30 Mini is a compact size. If it was a rugged phone with 5.5-inch display or look like a brick in your hand, then Numio S30 Mini is a comfortable to carry in your pocket. The smartphone comes with 4.7-inch display made by LTPS technology. The resolution is HD 1280x720 pixels. The display is covered by Corning Gorilla Glass 3. It also supports up to 5 multi-touch. The brightness range allows you to use smartphone both on sunny day and in total darkness. The light sensor does the job well. Numia S30 Mini run on stock version of Android 7.0 Nuga. It's really good. Among pre-install applications, you will find File Manager, Software Updates, and Google Services. Setting menu, widgets, and phone just like its standard Android 7.0 Nougat. So there's nothing to talk about, let's move on to performance. Numia S30 Mini is powered by quad-core processor MediaTek MT6737T with frequency of 1.5 GHz. 
The graphic accelerator is used by Mali T720. As for the memory, there is 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. The user has about 26GB of free memory. If that's not enough, then you can use microSD memory card up to 64GB. My first experience with smartphone didn't reveal any serious problems. The user interface works smoothly. Application and games are launched quickly. Later I will make detailed review of performance new MIUI 30 Mini. Link will be in description. Now I want to show you some benchmarks. The most popular benchmark on Android called Antutu shows about 39,000 points. If we talk about Hikbench 4, here we see 683 points in single core test and 1887 points in multi core test. I can say that Numeo 30 Mini has a standard performance for its price category. Communication is very important for rugged smartphone. Many travelers, police, or military use rugged phones at work. Among available navigation systems are GPS and GLONASS. The phone doesn't have Chinese value. GPS position starts in about 15 seconds. Nemo S30 Mini works in 4G networks. Among the wireless interfaces, there is Wi-Fi, Dual Band, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, as well as Bluetooth 4.0. During the test of smartphone, I didn't find any problems with calling, Wi-Fi or GPS. The Numeo 30 Mini is equipped with 3000 mAh battery. The manufacturer says that the smartphone supports fast charging technology. The battery life while watching HD video is about 7 hours and during game is 4 hours. Full charging takes about 2.5 hours. This is information from official website. Later I will do my own battery test and publish video on our Tech Browser channel. Subscribe to our channel to not miss the new videos. Numeo 30 Mini is a budget smartphone, so it can boast of flagship cameras. There is 8MP main camera from Sony and 2MP front camera. At the moment I can note about quality of photos, because I just got a smartphone. Later I will make a lot of sample photos and video, after which we tell my opinion about camera. A link to the test of the Numeo 30 Mini camera can be found in description. Numeo 30 Mini is a good option for those people who are looking for a rugged phone with compact size and affordable price. The smartphone has IP68 rating, support for two SIM cards and microSD cards at the same time, good performance, battery, and even stock Android 7.0 Nougat system. I think the main drawback of Numeo 30 Mini is camera. On paper it looks rather weak, but I have to take some real photos and videos to make a final conclusion. Thanks for watching. As usual, in the description you can find link where to buy smartphone cheaper and other useful information about smartphone. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.